It's a heavyweight championship fight between Israel Adesanya and Francis Ngannou. for this, our main event of the evening. Adesanya is 31, Ngannou is 33. He weighed in at 250 pounds even. He will have a three inch reach advantage. And once again, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's Rudy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the challenger, Francis the Predator. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel. The last day of Bender, Adesanya! All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making sure. There, pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice flip there and a beautiful counter. And Ganu gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. All right, so Francis Ngannou pretty patient here early on and leaning on his jet. When you look at a guy like Francis, who has such tremendous power, fight behind a jab, it shows you how much he's evolving. He's not just searching for a knockout blow, he's trying to set it up. Ngannou gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Caught that kick there. And there comes the separation now. How good is that right hand? All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh. Oh. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. 
He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel out of sight. And Ganu gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Try to establish that jab. Good stick. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Throws the right hand there. Adesanya's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Takedown defense holds up. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Twenty seconds now remain in the rest. Ganu gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Nice slip to avoid the left. Oh, nice hook by him there. Not necessarily with full power, but certainly found the desired target. He's throwing those shots to damage your opponent and set up another shot down the middle. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Extends, you feel like the fight might be in? Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath. Right. right. You hear a big exhale. Every time Francis loads up to go finish a fight, you hear the crowd take all the air in yeah. because they're ready to explode. That's the type of performer, that's the type of fighter that Francis is. So we call on the numbers here. 40 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Accuracy rate in terms of strikes thrown and landed has dipped below 40%, 37% on the connection rate against Francis Ngannou. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. And on his lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Adesanya. Man, man, right up the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Unable to connect there. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. That shot blocked by Adesanya. Big body kick lands. And they separate. The next with a right. Dude, what a punch. Big power shots landing. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, lands the overhand up top. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Look at the whip actions that come from him. What a that fight game. so far. Huh? Well, I'm not.
not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice strike. Man, it's almost... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, straight right. Well, he's looking for that. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique, and before you know it, boom, he lands. 73 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Well, the accuracy rate not great. Below 40% now, 30% now percent connections against Francis and Gun. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Under three minutes remain in round three. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Throwing that jab, no good. Nice straight punch. His opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. And Ghana's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Oh! Oh! And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high. And now he's got a hurt bad. Just misses with the jab. There. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. And I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Oh! All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot. He will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Adesanya. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Francis Ngannou. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. 
Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Just out of range with that right hand. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Unbelievable. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 35 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. Celebration is on, and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career. Knocks out the number one contender with style points to retain his heavyweight title. Congratulations to champion, coach, team, family on the big result.